in, in the West, uh, these traditions have been forgotten. And in the East, in China, for example, they call breatharianism Bigu. It's known there for thousands of years. Uh, this is in the Wudang uh, mountains, in the Wudang monasteries in the West. We know mainly the Shaolin monasteries, the Shaolin monks. And these are the, the Wudang monks. They are even more famous in China. And they are also known for Bigu. Bigu means without bread. The full name is Bigu Fu Qi. So without bread, but through the power of Qi. Qi is the life energy, as you probably know. And in the medical Qigong, they say there are different ways how the Qi enters the body. Uh, of course, uh, indirectly via food and uh, with breathing. Uh, but there's also direct Qi. Everybody absorbs direct chi. We will see that there is also a, a scientific evidence for that. We will see that afterwards. Um, but they say this amount of direct chi differs from person to person. And there are obviously persons who are able to only live by direct chi. They call this absolute bigu. There are three stages of bigu. There is absolute bigu, no eating, no drinking. The second stage is uh, no eating but drinking, and the third stage that most uh, so-called breatharians practice is live on very low calories, eating a few fruits uh, a week or a few nuts or even sometimes eat a meal. They have the same tradition in, in India, for example. They call chi prana. In the Yoga Sutras of Pantanjali, the Bible of the Yogi, Pantanjali describes the city, the supernatural powers that evolve on the yoga path. And one of these cities is that you lose hunger and thirst and just live through the power of prana. Uh, 